be wearing your basketball beat Duke t-shirt I guess <laughs> you know Duke's back in the house today and uh, you know definitely a strong opponent ACC um, great tradition down at Duke in their women's lacrosse program and uh, it was nice to have them in the dome first time ever first game ever and uh, I thought our team played very well uh, executed and uh, you know built a substantial lead it uh, was great and allowed an opportunity for some of our other players to get in there. And when that happens against a top 10 team, it's just awesome. So we were thrilled with the performance of, uh, of everybody and, and our, you know, especially our core players that provided that opportunities for, for those other players. So we'll move on now and from here and head to uh, Albany, a very strong Albany team. Alyssa, you guys started out three one. You know, how'd you bounce back and really start to pull away in the second half? Um, I think it's just the way that our team is. You know, we get in a rut sometimes. You know, teams make runs. That's how lacrosse is. But we just try and have bigger runs and more frequent runs during throughout the game. Alyssa, you recorded your three hundred point in an SU uniform. What did that mean? Um, well, I didn't know until today <laughs> that that occurred. But um, you know, it's just. I've had a great career here, mostly just because of everyone around me. You know, I've had pe great people feeding it to me throughout my career, and people that can catch my passes and finish. So I owe it to my teammates. When did they tell you, and how did you find out? Did they kind of tell you before the game, like, "Hey, this is going on"? Or, or? Oh, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> what does Alyssa meant to this program, Gary? Well, she's, you know, that she, she brings uh, every practice, every game, the attitude that we're trying to uh, maintain in this program. And she's done it since she showed up on campus. And uh, I think that's what I appreciate the most is uh, the work ethic, the killer instinct, the wanting to win every practice, every game. And, uh, you know, she's helped raise the level of this program uh, since the day she arrived. Coach, when you guys are pulling in the second half, you know, what's working for your team? We're, we're just, you know, a couple less turnovers, uh, getting good opportunities, taking our time on offense, finding the open player, just, uh, you know, playing with a little more confidence and settling down a bit. I think we came out and, um, you know, we allowed them to, to, to come up with a few ground balls that we can get a shot at. And then, you know, we took over in the draw. That was big. Did a real big run in the draw there in the, the uh, second half of the, uh, the first half. And give us some possessions and then, you know, put our opportunities away. I thought, uh, you know, their, their defense tried some shutoffs and I thought we uh, stayed poised and took advantage of those opportunities that they provided to us. Coach, not to harp on the negative too much, but down the stretch there, Duke goes on a little bit of a run towards the end of that game. Is that a teaching moment you can use about finishing for you guys when they sort of have a 6 one run there? Not really. That's That was the opportunity for... Uh, for that that group of players that normally don't play against the top ten team, you know. So, you know, we were just thrilled that that, that we were in a position, you know, when you're playing in the you know number eight team in the country, and you can get, you know, your third line midfield in, your your second third group of defense in, and your same on the attack. So, you know, I, that's why I say this: the starters, the the key players, did an incredible job to build that lead, so we could get some experience for those younger players. I realize you don't think like this, but I think the outside world will look at your schedule and say, okay, where's Maryland, where's North Carolina, then they play a bunch of other games. Uh, <laughs> how, do you, how do you keep the team improving and, and focused and you know, getting better when you're not playing, you know, when you're winning comfortably? Well, I think what we talked about after the game is, you know, every game is an opportunity to learn and improve. And that's kind of the way we look at it. You know, whether you win or lose, you're playing against the best, so you're going to learn something about yourself. And uh, and that's that's the experience we're going to get out of it. You know, the toughest schedule in the country is, you know, the opportunity to get better every day and, and learn something about yourself by being challenged by the best. Uh, Kelsey, you came in the second half, uh, kept the Blue Devils off the scoreboard for about the first 15 minutes or so. Um, what was working so well for you to? Um, you know, I just I wanted to come in and kind of provide that spark for our team. Um, to, you know, to start pulling ahead and um, getting a larger lead. So I was just, I just came in really focused and 
you know, I've never liked Duke since I've grown up. So, you know, it was, <laughs> it was just um, extra motivation for me, I guess. Is it challenging for you to, you know, be on the sideline the first half and then be told at halftime coming in? And just how kind of tough is that to adjust on the fly? Um, well, I knew um, before the game that I was coming in second half, you know, we have pretty good communication. But, you know, it's just I'm just there first half to um, – support Alyssa, you know, and hope she does the best that she can and cheer her on. And then in the back of my mind, of course, I'm staying focused for when I come in that second half. Kayla, I think you had a really nice passer to Taylor to you know, get you guys the lead at 4-3 and didn't get the lead up, you know, after that. How big was that? You know, what was kind of, what was the play there? Can you take me through the one of you? Um, well, they were face guarding me, so um, I just got the ball and, you know, I try to take my defender 1v1 and there's this quick slide so you know Taylor was wide open and Taylor made a great play finishing it so um, just basic you know when the slide comes you pass the ball. <laughs> I think it was a good momentum shift for your team to get a lead there. Yeah. It's always good to get the lead so. Well, so did you just grab the t-shirt out of the closet this morning or was this like a planned uh, thing? Um, well I wore it the first this Tuesday or first day of practice for the week and then uh, game day, Alyssa Costantino and I made sure, and Kirkland actually made sure we were wearing them. <laughs> did, you hear, uh, did you hear the announcement for the 300 points over the loudspeaker at the end of the game at all? Or did you? I, heard a, I heard a little bit of it, but then everyone was like, I don't know. We were just like all celebrating, so it was just <laughs> in the moment. Um, Alyssa and or Kayla, um, obviously Kelsey came in and was playing well. Does that allow you guys to be a little more risky on offense? Or just, you know, you know, she's in the net. If something bad happens, just kind of bailing you guys out. Um, honestly, I don't think I don't think that's something I think about. You know, our defense has consistently been like really good across the board, uh, first half, second half. You know, and we try on offense to reward our entire team by putting a point up on the board after our defense has a long uh, possession or a long. Uh, like hold them, hold them without scoring, you know. So I think that's the way we look at it. We don't look at it like, oh, let's try and do something risk, uh, creative or something. Let's just we think like let's just get in the back of the net.